What's up everybody, this is DJ Endo, DJ Product Specialist for Native Instruments and instructor at Dubspot. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to route audio from Traktor into Ableton Live. Now this will allow you to use Ableton effects over what you're playing in Traktor and will also allow you to route each deck inside of Traktor into its own audio channel in Ableton, allowing you to record your entire mix and go back and make changes to each deck separately. Now this is very similar to the bridge by Serato and Ableton, except my Ableton session is going to be perfectly synced to Traktor, so when I record all of my tracks separately, they're going to be recorded perfectly on the grid, and all of my Ableton effects are going to be perfectly synced to Traktor's BPM, and all of my tempo changes in Traktor are going to be recorded inside of Ableton. Now before following these steps, I would check out my previous video on how to sync Ableton to Traktor. That way your Ableton session is going to be perfectly in sync to Traktor. Now here's how you set it up. The first thing I'm going to do is download Jack OS X by going to jackosx.com. I'll click on download. It's a free download. And I'm going to download Jack OS X. Once I downloaded Jack OS X, I'm going to go to my applications, Jack, and I'm going to open Jack Pilot. Once Jack Pilot's open, I'm going to go to the Jack Pilot preferences. I'm going to select my input and output device. Now for the input and output device, I would select whatever sound card you usually use to DJ with. So I'm going to select Tractor Audio 10. For the sample rate, I'll set it to 44100. Buffer size, I'll set to 512. And for my interface input channels, I'm going to select the maximum number I can choose, which is 10. For the output channels, I'll select 10 as well. For the virtual input channels, I'm going to select 10. And the virtual output channels, I'm going to select 10. Then I'm going to click on Save. Once I got all my preferences configured in the Jack Pilot, I'll click on Start. Now when I click on Start, the Jack Pilot's going to act as its own audio interface, which will allow me to route audio internally inside of my computer. Then I'm going to open Traktor. Now with Traktor Scratch Pro 2 open, I'm going to click on the Preferences. I'll go to my audio setup and I'm going to choose my audio device. Now I'm going to select the Jack Router. Make sure that you don't select Jack Audio Device. You want to select the Jack Router. Then I'm going to go to my output routing and for each deck I'm going to route each deck to its own output in the Jack Router. So for deck A I'm going to use Jack Router out 0 and 1. For deck B I'm going to select Jack router out two and three. For deck C, I'm going to select jack router out four and output five. For deck D, I'm going to select jack router out six and seven. Now, since I'm using the audio 10, I have an extra output which I'm going to be using for the preview player so I can listen to tracks before I play them in the decks. So for the output preview, I'm going to select jack router out eight and 9. Now I'm going to open Ableton Live. Now with Ableton Live open, I'm going to first click on the EXT button to make sure that my live session is synced to Traktor. For more info on this, check out my previous video on syncing Traktor to Ableton. Now I'm going to go to my Live Preferences and I'm going to configure my audio settings. So for the input device, I'm going to choose Jack Router so I can get my input from Traktor. And for my audio output device, I'm going to choose Traktor Audio 10 or whatever audio interface you're using. Now I'm going to click on my channel configuration and choose Input Config and make sure that all of the stereo inputs are turned on, which they are. And then I'm going to go to my output config and make sure all of my stereo outputs are turned on. And click OK. 
So now that we have our audio configured in Ableton, now we're going to make four new audio tracks by going to Create, Insert Audio Track, or we can use the hotkey Apple T. I'll actually make five audio tracks. Now for each audio track, I'm going to set the monitor to be input so I can see the input coming in from Tractor. So now I'm going to name the audio tracks Deck A, Deck B, Deck C, and Deck D. And then I'm going to select my inputs. So for Deck A, I'm going to get input from external input 1 and 2. Deck B will come from external input 3 and 4. Deck C will come from input 5 and 6. Deck D will come from input 7 and 8. Preview deck will come from input 9 and 10. Then I'm going to select my outputs. I'm going to choose external output 1 and 2, external output 3 and 4, external output 5 and 6, external output 7 and 8, external output 9 and 10. Then I'm going to hold the command key and turn on the record buttons for each channel so I can record the audio coming in. And I'll only do this for deck A, B, C, and D. So once that's all set up, I'm going to click on File, Save Live Set As, and I'm going to name the set Tractor to Ableton. So now that I got everything configured in Ableton, the next thing I'm going to do is go back to my Jack Router, and I'm going to assign each output of Tractor into an input of Ableton. So I'll go to my Jack Pilot and click on Routing. Now for the Send Ports, I'm going to select Tractor. I'm going to open it up. Make sure that you don't double click on anything yet. For the Receive Ports, I'll click on Live and open it up. Now this part can be tricky. So for each channel in Live, I'm going to single click on the input. And then I'm going to go to the corresponding tractor output and double click on it. So for live input 1, I'm going to double click on tractor output 1. For live input 2, I'm going to single click. And then I'm going to double click on output 2. Live input 3, single click, double click output 3, and so on for each one of these inputs. input 7 to output 7, single click input 8, double click output 8, single click input 9, double click output 9. So now that I have all of my routing configured correctly in the Jack Pilot, I'm going to save this studio setup so I can load it later on. So I'm going to click on Save Studio Setup, and I'm going to call my studio setup Tractor to Ableton. So now that everything's configured, I'm going to check and see if I have audio coming from Tractor into Ableton. I'm just going to load up a track in deck A, hit play, and go to Ableton. We have audio. Load a track in deck B, and hit play. We have audio going into deck B. I'll load a track into deck D, hit play. audio going into deck D. Now I'm just going to load a sample into sample deck of deck C. And then in Ableton we have audio going into deck C. Now if I want to record, I'm going to first make sure this upper section is showing up here that shows the master clock by going to preferences, global settings, and I'm going to turn on show global section. Then I'm going to go to my master clock panel of tractor by clicking on this little metronome here. I'm going to turn the MIDI clock send on, and then I'm going to click sync to start Ableton receiving MIDI from tractor. Now inside of Ableton, I'll just click on the record button. If I click on the tab key, I can go to my range view, 
and you can see that each deck and tractor is being recorded into its own audio channel inside of Ableton. This is DJ Endo. I hope you enjoyed the videos. For more videos, check out dubspot.com. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.